right, Dean. Well, thank you for being here. Dean is live right now in Los Angeles. Okay, the first question we've got for you is tell us a little bit about yourself and your craft and why you love what you do. Ah, well, um, I've been, I've wanted to be in film since I was in, I guess, in high school. So I went to UCLA Film School. And, and I think what attracted me to film is the, um, the idea that you can create illusion. You can take an audience on a trip that uh, they can't go in in real life. So um, most of the films that I've been fortunate to work on uh, are, are those kind. You know, I, I, I think you said you were going to run some clips or something you know, yeah. of them. We did. Um, oh, good. <laughs> uh, and if you notice, most of the uh, ones that, that everyone remembers are the, uh, the, the ones that do that that um, allow an audience to go uh, somewhere, you know, they can't normally go. And uh, of course the audience goes willingly. Film allows us to do that. So, uh, you know, cinematography to me was um, the, the most, uh, I guess, dynamic way to be a part of that process. You know, you it's visual storytelling, it's it's lighting for mood. It's using the camera to uh, to draw the audience in and explain the story. You know, so so I've been very fortunate in having been able to to realize um, my dream that um, you know I, I wanted to do, and um, so I I've uh, you know just been involved with a lot of projects that. Uh, and to really effectively uh, work on like that way. So tell us why you were excited to shoot Moore Road. Well, as an extension of what I just said, uh, Morrow Road is that kind of illusion, that kind of uh, storytelling that uh, is, is a, you know, an exciting journey for an audience. And I think what was intriguing about it um, was that it wasn't a horror film. I get sent scripts all the time, um, most of which are sort of formulaic. Uh, it usually involves uh, a killer, a knife with a knife, trapping some girls in a house, or maybe in a summer camp or something like that. <laughs> I can't tell you how many of those I've, I've gotten. Um, this one, to me, was immediately intriguing in that um, the, uh, the, the nemesis, the, the threat, is uh, a, a, a more supernatural uh, kind of uh, presence. Um, and, it, and it allows for a lot of really great visual uh, storytelling. It, it allows uh, for our, uh, our kids to uh, sort of uh, try to figure it out and everybody's got a, a take on the myth, you know, and we've all heard uh, myths of all kinds, uh, um, you know, in any small town we've been in or wherever we grew up. So it, it touches on that kind of sensibility that uh, everybody in an audience um, has uh, somehow experienced. <clears throat> and, um, you know, the, the, the great twist of making it supernatural, but at the same time uh, being based on what appears to have been a, a real event. So, um, you know, it's, it's a great mixture of, uh, of a couple of those uh, kinds of, you know, genres. All right. Thank you. That was, that was a good answer. Um, okay. <laughs> so. Hey, by the way, does everyone have their glass of wine? <laughs> I, have, I have mine here. <laughs> well, now you're officially part of the team. <laughs> Okay, so what challenges do you see in shooting Morrow Road? Well, um, 
I, I would say that uh, the, the challenge is elevating it to the, uh, the level of a very classy kind of um, uh, film, something the audience expects nowadays. The, uh, you know, you look at all of the, the films, and, and, and part of the reason I, uh, another reason I'm interested is that you look at so many of the films that are popular now, and they're huge budgets, $200 million, um, and, uh, and I worked on some of those, and I know a lot of people who do. And, and a lot of it is the fact that the, the films are sort of broken down into pieces. Uh, the pieces go to a lot of different departments. Uh, the storyboard guys do drawings that go to the visual effects people. So there's, there's kind of a giant machine uh, feeling to it. And um, you become a cog in the machine. Whereas smaller, low-budget films, everybody has to think, everybody has to work very smartly, and um, you know, you, you really get creatively involved in telling the story. And um, so, I think one of the uh, one of the challenges is going to be making it um, so that it competes with uh, those very slick, polished, high-budget films. Um, but there's a unique uh, opportunity here because it involves a lot of the visual kinds of things that are in more expensive films. Um, you know, the, the supernatural effects and the, the, that, that kind of aspect. So it can elevate it into a, uh, uh, you know, just above the, uh, the slasher kind of film. And um, so I think the, the great challenge will be uh, living up to that potential, um, you know, the, the uh, budgets, no matter what the budget is, you know, the, a budget for a film is set for a particular reason. So when it's, you know, 80 million or 100 million or 200 million, there's never quite enough money um, <laughs> because your appetite is a lot larger than your pocketbook. Um, and so that'll be the challenge here also is is uh, making sure that you know we we come up to that uh, sort of level of production value and and storytelling on a, uh, a smaller budget. Well, you're absolutely right. That's something that I'm sure all lower budget films have to deal with. We've already had to deal with it, even in making our little conceptual trailers for no budget. You know. So. <laughs> Hi, Dean. I'm Josh. Um, Hi. Out of the many of the films that you've created, uh, there's been scenes that have stuck out that have been so memorable that I've remembered them my entire life, from childhood, from a, a huge variety of your films. Uh, those moments that you can recall at any time, even after it's been 20 years from having seen the film, you can tell every little detail in it because they're so memorable. Um, do you think Morrow Road's script offers those kind of opportunities to create those kind of memorable scenes, those classic scenes that we all remember from so many of your films that we can look back on years in the future. Yeah, you know what, I, I think so. For, you know, uh, for the reason that I kind of mentioned earlier, the <laughs> fact that it combines, uh, you know, the, the, the thriller, horror uh, sort of feeling, but uh, with supernatural elements and uh, uh, you know, things that can be visually very arresting uh, for an audience. So, yeah, and I think that'll be the great challenge is to to go through and identify those scenes because, and, and I think that's one of the tricks with uh, sort of low budget films is to uh, you, you spend your effort and time on uh, sequences and, and scenes that will be memorable, um, you know, so that you can do them justice, and, and part of it will be identifying those and developing those sequences so that um, they are, you know, very memorable. Excellent. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you. sir. I appreciate it.